battle the battle the battle the battle Yep, okay, that sound is working. That is perfectly not synced on my end. Here we go, three, two, one! Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the B and Dao stream. Oh my gosh, shouting into the mic. It is the B and Dao stream. Today, on the wonderful 21st of November 2022, it has actually not been wonderful weather-wise. It has been woefully windy here in uh, the we eastern part. I was trying to juggle so many W's. Um, in that sentence. It's been very windy in Sydney, so uh, if you're in the Sydney area and your power cuts out, like mine possibly will, I can't guarantee anything. Um, but yeah, if you're watching this live on Twitch, do note, yes, if the stream goes dead, uh, just note that the VOD ends up on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, it's perfectly fine. I record all these ahead of time. But yeah, no, today is the 21st of November. We've had two big things this week. The Game Awards nominations and Pokemon. And you know what I've been playing a bit of? Not a crazy amount of. I've only got like about five and a half hours in Pokemon, which is a lot for a game that came out only Friday, but uh, it's not like a... Uh, I don't know, I know some people have like kind of beaten the game by now, so I'm like, eh, I'm taking my sweet time. Speaking of sweet time, let's get right into the game. You see that, by the way? The... Um, I don't know if I, if, if I, uh, kill the audio for a moment. You see how the transition is like, like, clips on screen for a moment? I gotta sort that one out, I'll tell ya. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm continuing on Dragon Warrior 1, or Dragon Quest 1, depending on how you want to call it. Continue, the level 10, uh, in the last stream, that was basically the start of the game, up to level 10, and me getting my butt kicked by various things around town. Uh, do I remember exactly where to go? Not at all. But I've got an idea of maybe a couple of places that I've yet to look into. Um, so I've got an idea of one. I'm gonna see whether now's the right time to go for it. Um, yeah, so 1,067 coins. I wish I had more coins, but that's okay. We got the red slime. Uh, but yeah, no, to this, this week has been, um, definitely, uh, an interesting but fun week. Um, lots of stuff going on in the world, uh, and perhaps, uh, perhaps one where some viewers may find that, uh, recently times are a bit tumultuous, uh, a bit turbulent, if you will, um, with the wind, but also, you know, it's the end of the year. Thanksgiving is coming. Well, it's not quite the end of the year yet, but you know, it's the 21st of November. When you think about it, like I've been watching Formula One, and they're like, "Yeah, the Formula One's over for the year. We'll we'll return back in March 2023." And I'm like, "Oh my gosh, 2023." Um, you know, it's it's Black Friday or it's it's Thanksgiving this Thursday in the US, which means it's Black Friday in many countries that don't celebrate Thanksgiving, or Cyber Monday the upcoming week. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of, I guess, like, things have gone, hey, you know, as a consumer, what do we buy? What do we purchase? Uh, or rather, you don't have to purchase either. I don't know what I'm saying. I would like to buy computer parts. They haven't gone on sale yet, or good at good sales. I see Scorp Tech. They don't. They didn't put any sales on until 13th gen. I see Shopping Express. They specifically have left the 3900K at full price. I want me that 3900K, dang it! And I guess if you're not putting it on sale, well, there's no incentive for me to buy it now. But the problem is, I've got other things I also want to buy. So check this out. There's a big shrine over here. You go down the stairs and there's a guy on the inside and he goes, So you're Bundo. Word is that you are on a quest. Defeat Draco Lord. However, Draco Lord is a being of unspeakable power. I can't allow you to go in knowing that you will fail. Bundo, let me test your power. I've heard that somewhere in this world, there is a shiny harp that summons monsters. Bring it to me. I will recognize you as a hero and confer you the rain staff. Yeah, okay, cool. So this guy isn't gonna give me the goods. He's just gonna tell me that I can't do anything about it yet. I can't recall if the rain staff is the last thing you need in the game. Uh... 
Yeah, I, I, I can't remember specifically, but... Again, I'm loving how quick it is to just, like, go in, hit a guy in the face, and he's dead. He's gone. He's out. It's just a good feeling. It's a really good feeling. I went through the Mammoth Cave as well, yeah. There's not- there's not too many dungeons in this game, so, uh, I think beyond the- the mountain cave, I can't even think of really any on that, like, side of the map. I mean, until you get further south, but we're not going further south, we're- well, I guess we're going further south now, but... But yeah, it's- it's a- it's a fairly small world, like, I think you're basically in the top left corner, you got the- the cave of Lotto, and then... Uh, I think I got over down there. And then, like, a little town in the top left, and then there's, like, nothing else in the top left of the map. You walk around to the top right, you got that one shrine and the... the town that's north of me. You go through this tunnel, you're in the bottom right, and there's, like, a couple of extra things to look at, so... I don't know, I was thinking this would- this game would take four streams. It might be a three-streamer, I don't- I don't think it's, like, particularly crazy long, but, uh... You know, time will be the judge. You'll know by the end of next week whether, you know, it took that many streams or not. I could light up the way, but I'm still not going to. There we go, just about here. Oop. There we go, oop. <laughs> Darn. Um, yeah, let's dive into the first topic of the week. Uh, so I've been playing Pokemon Scarlet in particular. I thought dinosaurs are cool. Fine, I'll, I'll use the light. Dinosaurs are cool. Let's get the dinosaur version of the game. Um, so, uh, but yeah, I've been playing it, and for the first five hours, I've been fairly enjoying it. Uh, the big thing I would like to preface is social media is simultaneously right and overblowing the problems of the game, it is woefully, like, crusty. It has so many graphical issues and so many bizarre, just, like, weird, um, like, I guess, I'll just say bugs, but, like, things that, like, obviously shouldn't be there from, uh, you know, like, characters. I, I've noticed this a lot. When the camera jumps in a cutscene, from when a camera changes from one camera to another, the locations of characters just for some odd reason doesn't update. It takes a frame where you can clearly see the characters are just not in the their new positions. They're in old positions. Um, this is uh, some people may have seen the T posing at the end of a cutscene. The end of a cutscene I can't even explain. At least the beginning you can go, oh, it's consistently like a bad synchronization. They just change the camera and then for some odd reason they haven't set the you know, the animations, which... You should always have the animations. I don't know why, like... I don't know why anim animations and cutscenes have to be done exactly like, uh... You know, like, uh, Hollywood... Hollywood films? Or just, like, any kind of animated film where it's, like, the animations are specifically... Like, tied to the, the shots. I don't know why. Um, but it's, it's kind of bizarre looking. The stuff where the camera clips in the ground, the stuff where you throw a Pokeball to initiate a battle uh, on, on an enemy, and then they just don't respond for like five seconds. Sometimes it feels longer than that, but uh, that one's definitely one of the weirder ones. I don't know if I'm, I'm able to go south without getting my butt kicked. Um, we'll see. Uh... The Wyverns are what's gonna kick to my butt, yeah. I- I'm- I'm waiting cautiously. Okay. I took him out, but that's not a confident- That is a lot of experience. Uh, oops. <laughs> we're not- we're not saving here. You can do, uh, quick saves. The kind where it's like you have to load the game immediately afterwards, but, like... Or like, sorry, as in you have to dispose of your save. Uh, let's get away from this guy, because I don't trust fighting him. Oh. I still don't trust fighting him. Yeah, okay. Oh, now I gotta heal again.
So in that case, if I can't feel confident fighting any of them... Oh. But then I take like two damage from this guy. What's the solution? It's like... I think because that's area 9 and the other area goes past an area 9 into an area A, which is even worse because it's got not only wyverns, but even worse things than that. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm at a bit of a brick wall where I've just got to grind money, I guess. And granted, I guess that one guy gave me 100, but I think some of the other enemies give you 40. That's going to be a lot of enemies to get a fight, so. And we'll get there. We'll get some levels on the way. I don't think there's really, like, there's only two places I can go to, and they're kind of both caught at the end of uh, stuff like that. Which is just very awkward, but, yeah, okay. Um, then there's uh, the, the really crusty bits of Pokemon, particularly things that are clearly not the most finished. Um, I've, I noticed when I got to, there's a school that you go to, like a big central school. Um, the school is massive. It's basically like the big town that you go to, although I think there's probably more towns, but I've yet to actually walk across them just yet. Um, but in that school kind of town, you can clearly spot the same buildings copy-pasted a few times, um, but they've changed some of the some of the storefronts at the bottom of the, of the store. Um, I always keep thinking, oh, Metal Scorpion, like, or, sorry, Metal Scorpio. is like, he must resist damage, but he's constantly defending right now. Like, he's not actually... <laughs> he's just taking my time. He's not actually, like, doing anything too tricky. Uh... But yeah, uh, and then, and then on top of that, the school has kind of got, like, a moat around it. And you can notice the, the cliffside of the moat is just this horrendous looking, like, terrain map. Uh, where it's just like this repeated, just cliffside rock texture. Constantly looping. Co like, it's such a, like, distinct pattern. It's just looping constantly. Uh, I, I can't really phrase it in any other way, but like, when you look at it, it goes, it looks horrible. It looks very mid-2000s. In fact, actually, I think, and I'm gonna say this, this game looks visually as good, on average, as Pokemon Colosseum back in 2003 on the GameCube. We have come, not full circle, but we have made games look exactly as good as they were 19 years ago. I think there is definitely more impressive looking um, feats with the fact that the world is open. You can go from one direction to another without really hitting loading screens, uh, for the most part. Um, and I, oh, and also when you, when you go up to terrain and you can see it kind of warp its vertices into a higher LOD model, it looks very bizarre to me because you could just watch the texture warping all over the place. I thought I was getting like the PS1 style, um, you know how PS1 games when the, when the, um, scale is set kind of oddly, well not oddly, but like when the scale is too small because it does integer based, um, 3D graphics. Uh, a lot of the time you can see textures start to just like wobble when they get like on an angle and close to the camera. They don't quite have the precision and they just kind of like, you know, lean off. Um, it kind of looks like that, but it's not actually doing that. It's just, it's a weird custom solution to wobbling. I don't really know how to, how to explain it, but point is, yeah, there's a lot of just weird graphics issues. Some are bugs, some are just, it's not done. It's really not done. But, I, I preface this with a big but. Uh, like, what I want out of a Pokemon game is I want to go on a safari. I want to go to a bunch of places. I want to just be like, hey, oh, look, it's that Pokemon. Oh, it's that Pokemon. And I just want to go around and catch a lot of them. And then have like a bit of a, you know, a bit of a battle on the mix. See what moves I learn. See what like other kinds of things I come across. The, the Pokemon should be the star of the show for me. And so far, five and a half hours in, it is. And, and, and mechanically, the game is not getting in my way. No matter what kind of weird, like, bug shows up, and I've had a few, like, that are kind of like, oh, okay, like, sure. 
Um, like, uh, there was one, there was a weird one where it's like, uh, there's a scene earlier on where you spot the big legendary already, and you follow the big legendary through a cave, and there's like a bit where the camera like goes forward to show that the guy is breaking a rock, and when the camera cut back, I had already fallen down a slope into water, and uh, the camera just like absolutely jittered about and then just fed it to black because it's like, oh, you're not supposed to be in water, get back up. Um, it was a very weird effect and that was probably the biggest one that's gotten in my way so far. Um, and I know some people have crashes and I know some people have, um, have uh, seen save glitch, like as in the saves have corrupted and that's a big problem. And everything that, like I say, is like, yeah, like, save glitches and, and crashes are annoying. They're actually, like, I don't, I don't, I don't accept any of them in terms of, like, uh, like, oh, it's fine for games to do that. It's not fine for games to do that, and it's not fine for games to be unfinished as well. Like, games should really be done. Everything, it should be up for complaint and up for criticism. And honestly, people shouldn't be giving the games, like, scores. I don't think a score does this game justice because it's such a mixed bag. Depending on what you are looking for, this game is going to be wildly on one side or the other. It's very hard for the game to really be sitting in the middle for you, in terms of like, yeah, it, it, it's average. Um, I think you're, you're going to either love the mechanics or you're going to get so frustrated by the kind of hitchy performance. It's not horrendous, the frame rate, but it's definitely like, pretty bad. It's like you can click when you're playing co-op. It's real, real dog. It struggles hard. When you're playing by yourself, it definitely like stutters. It definitely slows down. But it's not like unplayably slow because nothing in the game really happens that fast, anyways. Like that's why I mean. Is that like what what problems the game does have are not as like frustratingly in the way. They just happen. You laugh at them, they're fun little bugs, and then you move on. They're clearly issues that need to be sorted out, and I would ideally like for this game to really just get the extra cooking. Um, we live in a bit of a post... Uh, what's the term? Like, re releases don't mean anything. A game comes out, and then it's just like, yeah, like a game, you know, like, uh, it'll get patched, or it'll get fixes later down the line, and maybe it won't. We can't even expect that as players. So if you are uncomfortable, don't let anyone pressure you into playing the game or paying for it. It's, I, I actually got it at a really good price because I picked it up on Amazon. So when people say like, oh, you know, you bought the game full price. I bought it for 48 Australian and I feel pretty good about it. Um, thanks Big W for having a really low price on that. Uh, yes, I broke my no pre-order rule. But I'm also like, it's Pokemon and it's gonna have to take a, a large amount of stuff in order for me to just hate it. To really not enjoy it. And currently, right now, I'm enjoying it more than I was enjoying Black and White. And I think that's a that's a plus for me. Um, does, it, does this necessarily mean that, like, I'm a fanboy? I mean, granted, I got the Munchlax as the, as the profile pick. I guess I am more likely to, like, to enjoy Pokemon, but I think it is because I really enjoy the gameplay loop and just the style of game because um, other than like Gran Turismo really there's not a lot of games that I feel a strong connection to like wanting to collect stuff in it. There's a lot of games that have just collectibles that I don't care about and Pokemon and, and Gran Turismo are two games that I grew up with where I loved collecting. It's a bizarre like like thing that uh, real talk if I ever want to design a game as a fun thing I want to make it so collecting stuff feels really enjoyable, because I feel like that's something that I've just never really had tickled in any other kind of game. It's never felt like something that many other games really, like, tick off for me. It, it definitely comes up sometimes, but... Uh, it's just, it's something that I just feel is so special to, um, particularly Pokemon. Just every time I go into a new Pokemon game, I always am, like, fascinated by just, like, trying to catch a lot of the time, mostly the same Pokemon, but then it's like, oh, look at that, that one's different, or, oh, that's a weird different form of it, oh, oh, they know different moves now, it's like, I don't know, I find that to be my biggest interest. And yeah, at the end of the day, that is where I'm getting my enjoyment out of this game. Uh, I, I have not 
bought into simultaneous overhype and uh, outrage. I feel like Twitter is a place where you can only have two opinions, either complete love or complete hate. Uh, it's very hard for to express like slightly in the middle in every single tweet you do. Um, maybe you could follow me on uh, m.bando.com, my programmer, where I provide longer opinions and hopefully provide some nuance to things that uh, can't be covered in, in a tweet. Um, But definitely, yeah, like, it's really odd. It's a really odd game. So, I, like, yeah, I don't have too much to say about it, I guess because I'm that early in, in the game. But I've tried a few mechanics. Um, I will say I'm glad it's, like, it's been forever for some reason, but I'm glad that there is a collecting component that is not Pokemon. You collect recipes for sandwiches, and I'm like, hey, that's sick. That's awesome. Because, like, Pokemon's always been a game about collecting stuff. Why is it taking so long to have collecting other kinds of things? There's a lot of things that you just don't collect, like uh, TMs and stuff, where it's like, oh, they're one-time use. Now it's like, yeah, you craft materials for TMs and um, possibly other things as well. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but it's like, that's pretty cool. That's just like, hey, you know, it provides a bit of, like, meaning to actually doing stuff in the game. Um... Because otherwise then it becomes this game. It becomes Dragon Quest. It becomes exactly what I'm doing right now. Walking around, fighting a bunch of stuff, going, I am not the right level to attack things, and I don't have the best armor that I could in order to, like, further cement my ability to, to go in and do stuff. So, uh, let me double check my list of things, but I'm pretty sure I could just save up and buy the magic armor if I saved up to 7700. Uh, now, the magic armor, I believe, um, does it, does it reduce spell damage by like a quarter, I think? I think it does. And then, uh, you also heal one health for every two steps, which actually makes it like super good. So you could get it, um, but the 3,000 uh, gold uh, full plate actually has the same physical resistance. Now I only have the uh, the iron, um, which is the 16, it gives you 16 armor, so I could buy the 3,000 one. Um, I don't know, maybe I should just go for the 7,000. Maybe. Uh, same thing. I think I can't buy the shield yet. I've got the middle shield. I forgot where the best shield is. Um. Let's see. Ah. Okay. Alright. The shield is, uh... Well, there's a thing in the way. We'll, we'll get to that one. Uh, it costs even more. I don't know if I'd even be able to... You have to eventually get it, I guess. But it costs a lot. It actually... Wow. Jeez. Okay. Um, and then for weapons, I have the... I have the iron sword, don't I? Oh, the iron axe. So, uh, I could definitely buy the 1500 gold sword now. I might as well. Yeah, I might as well. Let's go and let's get it. Here we go. So, he sells, yeah, the steel and then the magic, which is pretty good, but we're gonna get the steel sword. Huh? Oh, no, you have no space. So, I just got something. Then make room. Then come see me. Wow. What have I been holding on to? Uh, leather shield, apparently. Also, two torches. That's kind of interesting that you only get ten inventory spots. And, uh, your equipped items hog that up. I mean, granted, actually, that's, that's how the other Dragon Quests work, but... In particular, in this game, 
because you don't have any extra party members, your inventory space is just completely, like, you know, tiny. Alright, okay, well, I got the broadsword, which is the third best, uh, I was about to say gun. It's the third best sword in the game. Uh, there's a better one to buy later on. Um... I'll keep going. We'll keep fighting a few dudes. We should be able to deal a bit more damage towards things now. There you go. Like, I'm one-shotting these guys. I feel confident enough to just, like, give myself a bit of heal, and then let's just, like, see if I can go a bit more south and fight something a little stronger. Oh, we got the crit. We got the crit. Heck yeah. I don't know if different weapons have different crit chances. I think they're all just different amounts of damage. There we go. Uh, but yeah, no. I would I recommend Pokemon. Um, well, if you're kind of on the fence, no, no, don't don't feel pressured to get it. It's 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 still evolutionary, like all Pokemon inevitably is. But the biggest thing that it does do is it's mechanically s much more sound than Sword and Shield. I thought Sword and Shield. The, the mechanics in it were gimmicky. I appreciated it was different, like, uh, they have kept trying for a bit. But it is, like, a bit in the way. The open world in this one, I think it's a breath of fresh air. Uh, but whether people will enjoy the, um, uh, what did they call it? The new, the new feature where Pokemon can have, like, a third type, and you switch to that type for one Pokemon. Um, might be interesting. So here we go, down these stairs. Hello there, Mr. Man. How you doing? If you are truly a hero of Lotto's blood, prove it with the Lotto seal. Be gone, you fool! Well, tch. I want to say it's an endgame thing, that Lotto seal, so, uh... This guy really loves healing, doesn't he? He's really healing. But, hey, he gives me some decent money. Uh, this is the bottom right of the world, by the way, so, uh... It's not really a, um... Quick way to get back, other than... To fight these guys for a bit, but... Yeah, they're not doing as much damage as they were a little bit before. And I'm able to deal a fair bit back, so... We're getting better, we're getting better, we're getting better. And that's the big, that's the big thing. And I, I said in the last stream, and I'll say it again, it's like... The big tickle with a lot of JRPGs, no matter what you do, is that there is always constant progress. There is a gold man right here, am I, am I, like, stuffed in fighting gold man? Uh, no I'm not. And he defended that one, so that's why he didn't take that much damage. It's gonna hit me for a bit, but that's okay. Oh. He's definitely- he's definitely taking a bit of heat. He's definitely taking a bit of heat. There you go. The nice thing about the gold man is look how much gold he gives. Whoa! 650! That's right, if you thought grinding for money was gonna take forever, there's at least an enemy for you. There's an enemy that will let you let you get your works up a fair bit. I want a bit of overlap because I'm I'm probably going to buy the 3,000 gold armor. You can get the the magic armor later. I mean, because like once I buy that armor, there's nothing else to buy but that armor. Sorry, but the 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 next armor. So let's just commit. Let's just get that get that better armor. So buy, I would like to buy the steel. And equip it right now, so there you go. Sell. Uh, sell the iron. I'll give you 500 gold. There you go. Yeah, I was a little worried about seeing the gold man, I'll tell you that. Welcome to our inn. Have some, have some money, my fellow.
So here we go, we continue on. Uh, I'm probably gonna work my way around back to the other side, because there isn't anything to do over here. You do get these enemies, but I'm feeling a bit more confident in taking out the, uh, the next set of enemies. So, let's work our way back all the way over there. Uh, unfortunately, how, like, what level am I? I'm still level 11, aren't I? Yeah, I'm still level 11. How much experience? 3859, do I have a list of experience on hand? Well, I am close to 12. Let's get to 12, but... Unfortunately, uh, level 13 has the gift that you really, really want. Actually, it might be... No, it is 13. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, if level 12's taking this amount of experience, Unless I go further south and I really fight those guys, which I could, but... I don't know if it's necessarily worth it, so... Um, so let's talk about the Twitter reaction to... Uh, to Pokemon. I definitely think that there is a degree of fanboyism, and there is also a degree of thinking that people are fanboys when they're not necessarily... And then there's also people legitimately coming across fanboys and going, "Ugh, there's a there's a mix of all the all the swats." The internet is not just two camps; it's like six camps fighting each other, and no one really knows what camp that other people are part of because no one asks anyone questions or assumes that someone is just saying something for face value. Or alternatively, people are never saying anything on face value, and they're all just saying stuff to troll and elicit reactions. We all know the drill, the internet is that kind of place. So, what do you do when you see people on the internet spreading stuff about Pokemon? One, uh, note that some people may be playing the game on an emulator. You may see graphical glitches that are actually just on an emulator. By the way, there's a spell outside. Now I don't have to stay in caves. I can cast a spell and just whoosh, I'm outside. Uh, I believe it's now called Evac, but in this game it's called Outside. And I'm defeating wolves like it is nobody's business. Uh, so yeah, I think it's another like 1500 XP in order to level up again. Which, eh, I mean the wolves give me 40. It's giving me a bit of money, but... I don't think any of these enemies are really going to give like enough experience. Um, like how much does the wraith give? 60? that he keeps healing himself. It's a very bizarre one. 60? 42. Well, it's, it's a little more than the wolf. Oh, gold man. Do you know what you are doing? Definitely the armor is making me a lot bulky in here. Maybe I should just be fighting gold man right now. I just chill around here, like, here, fight Goldman. Like, yeah, he's got like a hundred health, but he can't hit me that hard right now. I'm doing okay. Then I defeat him. Yeah, I don't get much money, but I got the gold. I could probably just get the magic armor right now if I'm fighting enough Goldman. Let's do it. Let's just get the magic armor. That's gonna rely on me reliably getting gold men, but then I could just fight Wyverns, which still hit me a bit hard, and they go fast. But they don't have too much health, so. Plus 100 gold, it's a bit. Alright, so the goal is 7,700 gold? Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess we've been through this process already with, like, I mean, wasn't the last Pokemon exactly like this? Where people initially shared leaked, uh, well, like, people downloaded or got the game early, they played it, showed clips on Twitter, um, maybe without context, maybe just like they were triggering an exploit that, you know, was lacking a day one patch, which, again, by the way, as much as I, I hate games needing to rely on day one patches, it's also like, yeah... No one really should be playing the game on not the day one patch. I don't see there being really any big reason other than, like, because you want to see what it's like. 
But they've definitely said there's like massive performance is uh, issues and also a couple of mechanical issues like some Pokemon just didn't learn certain moves on the base game. Um, but if you downloaded the game, you could never play the original version. The downloaded version was already with the day one patch the moment it was available. Um, the retail version already, the day one patch was out, at least for me, like way before I, I played it. I think I only played it on Sunday, which was yesterday though. So, um, so, uh, yeah, note that some people on Twitter may be definitely not showing the game in its best light. Uh, that being said, also, some of them are legit. And I'd probably say a fair bit of it is legit, but it's also like, is it really in the way? Not necessarily. Like, this, this is to defend the game uh, in the same way as, like, Cyberpunk was super buggy, but honestly, like, for some people, for some playthroughs, and this is me saying I haven't played Cyberpunk, so I don't know exactly, but I've definitely watched friends play through it, and I've kind of gone, yeah, like, there is jank, there is crust, but when you play it, if it doesn't exactly get in the way, you can still appreciate what it tried to do. And as long as the game has ambition and has, like, stuff that you go, oh, okay, that's actually pretty okay, I think there's something to appreciate and take home with. I, st I don't accept it. I don't accept games should be in that state. I think that there are definitely, there's definitely the ability for games to be perfect. And while we're releasing games that are imperfect, you know, there is room to improve. Uh, and we shouldn't necessarily award or credit games too hard for doing what is expected, which is to make the game really work. I don't see there being any reason, like, why poke, especially Pokemon. I don't, like, there's no crunch. Game Freak doesn't really crunch, they just don't do things. They just cut it out of scope. And then they just don't do it in time for the 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 release. They and I think they're just kind of pushing out games. Like they're just kind of I don't know. It's it's like it's it's a reverse. Crunch is specifically when game developers work overtime to reach a deadline. But when they're not necessarily working overtime to reach the deadline, and they just reach the deadline and call it, that's a bit different. That's just like yeah, okay. Um, I really hope that they touch it up, because it's definitely... I mean, yeah, I just compared it to Cyberpunk. And we all know what happened to Cyberpunk. It was removed from the PlayStation Store for eight months. That's a that's a long amount of time to have a game be not sellable. And, and granted, Cyberpunk was horrendous. It crashing on consoles is a massive issue. And to be honest, Pokemon it is crashing for some people. It hasn't crashed for me yet. So I will reserve judgment on how easy it is to crash the game. But, yeah, they need to sort it out, so. Anyway, that's my rant, long spiel, uh, and there's no Munchaks in the game, so therefore it actually sucks, and I don't know why anyone would play it. I'd be finding a few gold men, haven't I? Look at that, I'm already halfway to the to the armor. You thought this was going to take forever. Nope. We're getting there. Isn't that kind of nice? It's the, it's the first Dragon Quest. The very, very first one. And they already have... The money, like, the money dropping enemy, and they've got the experience dropping enemy, we'll, we'll get to that one a bit later. Um, actually, we'll get to that fairly soon, because, uh, where do you get him? I think you get him pretty... I keep checking underfoot, because I'm just mashing A too frequently. Actually, I appreciate you can hit the D-pad to close dialogues as well, that's nice. Um, gold man. Uh, I'm pretty sure, okay, he's in B. Oh, we should be able to find B. We should be able to, to find him in, in the B regions. He's not in A regions, but yeah. I've got a, uh, a map from Woodus.com. Woodus.com is the best place if you want to find... I wish I was sponsored. <laughs> Woodus.com is the best place if you want to find Dragon Quest related content. Like guides, walk... Uh, guides, tables, maps... You name it, Wooders probably has it. Maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what I'm saying. But the point is, you can get a world map, and they've drawn grid lines where all the, um, like, where the enemy encounters change. So, you, so if you're in this block, you get this, like, group of enemy encounters. If you're in that block, you get that group. 
It's definitely a very, like, predictable game. It's not, like, crazy deep. I mean, the fact that, like, you're one person, you know... Your stats changing doesn't change too much about the game. But I don't know, there's something nice and just kind of endearing about going about the game. And honestly, I like these monster designs. The music that's in the game is pretty neat. And it's over fairly soon. It's a real simple, short but sweet JRPG. That's really all I can say about it. Alright, 5735. Do I need a... No, I'm good, actually. I was thinking, it's like, do I need to stop for 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 an inn? But I'm going, I've got 52 max magic. That's enough for a lot of healing. And granted, like, yeah, I'm not really... Like, you don't really use your magic too much in this game. You only use it to get past really high defense, which will eventually happen. We'll, we'll eventually spot the enemies that take way too much of a beating. But until then, it's not too bad right now. Little Scorpio! So, speaking of people getting angry on Twitter... What's new? Am I, am I right? Like, oh, this past week on Twitter, man. I keep mentioning Twitter. Twitter is a bizarre site, I don't get it. But, uh... <laughs> anyway, uh... On, I think it was actually Tuesday, uh... November 14th, so yeah, Monday America time, Tuesday Australia time, uh, the nominees for the Game Awards 2022 were announced. The Game Awards is Jeff Keighley's, uh, big presentation. Is Jeff Keighley... Yeah, he is the creator and producer, he gets the count. Um... He, uh, it's, it's a big gaming journalist plus a bit of a fan vote. Uh, for Big Game Awards, that he tries to market it as the Oscars, um, but there's a, there's a bit of an over-reliance on, tr like, brand new trailers, uh, ads for things that you probably don't need, like, uh, Gillette Razors. There's a, there's a lot of that. They had, like, a Gillette Razor mascot character in one of the, in one of the things, so, uh, in one of the shows. Uh, and then they kept hyping up Elden Ring for a while. Like, I, I feel like it's just easy marketing for so many publishers to just push their big games. So, uh, yeah, I'll preface with that. Elden Ring has been nominated, not the most. Uh, it has been nominated just as much as Horizon Forbidden West in seven categories. Uh, but Tem nominations has gone towards God of War Ragnarok. Now, you may know God of War Ragnarok as the game that I talked about last week, where some people just, it rubbed them the wrong way. It was a bit too handholdy and a bit too, yeah, I get it, please shut up, guys. Um, granted, Pokemon started off that way as well. It took a while before it really, like, let me go. Um, but Pokemon isn't, well, one Pokemon is nominated. That's Pokemon Legend Arceus. Uh, I have enough for the armor. I'm gonna buy the armor. We'll just just get the armor. There's no reason to keep grinding around here. Um, I'm only halfway to the level. I'm not. I might as well just buy the armor and leave. Let's just go over to the other side. I mean, the only thing I'm gonna get now is a bit more money. And granted, I'm probably gonna fight that those more those gold men if I want even more, um, even more money. But I got a bit of game to to clear. You know? I don't think there's really, uh... Any reason to... Spadoodle around. We'll just kind of come back here when I really need to. I think there's gold men somewhere else as well, so... I don't think I even need to return it until the very end of the game. There we go. I got the magic armor. The magic armor now heals me. One health every two steps, I believe. Which is way too good. So, I'll just start, walk back to the start of the game. Um, but yeah, God of War Ragnarok, you know, people have gripes with it, uh, but it's been nominated in 10 categories, which means it's bound to win a lot of categories for some reason. Uh, I shall briefly go through the categories, um, actually no, I'm not gonna go through all of them, because there's, there's, there's too many categories, and there's a lot of categories that are just like, 
yeah, okay, I get it. But there's a few general notes that I, I definitely have as, like, take home. So, number one, uh, the Video Game Awards has way too many overlap categories. There, there are so many pointless categories in this list. I don't know why we have both best... Uh, uh, best ongoing game and best community support. Because this year and last year have four out of five o nominees overlap. Not as, as in... Uh, in the best ongoing game, Apex Legends, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy XIV, and Fortnite appear in both both of the categories. Best ongoing game has Genshin Impact as a fifth choice, and best uh, community support has No Man's Sky as the best community choice. Uh, last year, the same deal happened. There were four games that were in both categories. Um, bonus points, best community support, all five nominees this year are the exact same as last year's five nominees for that category. It, it's like, uh, and honestly, is anyone's opinions going to change? I don't think anyone's opinion are going to change. It's going to go to Final Fantasy XIV again, probably. If it goes to Apex, I don't know what's going on there, man. But, no, Destiny 2 has had a new expansion, but I think it also had one last year, so. I got no clue about that one. Uh, innovation in accessibility is definitely a, um... I, I, I think I've said this already in another stream, but just to, just to reiterate, uh, accessibility is, like, a very, like, mixed bag. I do agree more people should be able to play games, and if there's things we can do to make games, you know, easier for people who have disabilities in the sense of, like, oh, you know, like, you can't see certain things, um, you know, certain audio cues are just hard to pick up on. Sure, okay, stuff like that. Stuff like, uh, puzzles take way too long? Sorry. <laughs> By the way, I am too high level that now the slimes just run away. How about let's save as well? Let's get the save. Apparently I haven't lost my internet yet, so... That's a good sign. Um... But, uh, yeah, there's some things where I'm like, if a puzzle is, like, too hard, that doesn't feel like accessibility. That just feels like the game designers don't want you to get stuck. And I'm fine with games, like, having shortcuts around puzzles or giving you hints, but, like, is that accessibility? Is, is accessibility to just skip puzzles by pressing a button? Like, I don't know, stuff like that. Um, definitely Sony has had a, uh, wonderful, um, lot of press media by having myriads of, uh, accessibility settings, uh, in their games. Uh, one of which, my favorite is turning off motion blur, because apparently on consoles that is now an accessibility setting, whereas on PC that's always been a graphics option for, for ages. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, to make fun of other categories as well while we're at it, um, best action game and best action adventure game, while there is no overlap between the categories, it kind of begs to differ what makes a game action and what makes a game action adventure, and also what makes me get lost where I'm going. I thought I go down. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta go up and around. Yeah. Oh, enjoy me fighting and fighting red slimes and getting two gold. So the red slimes don't run. I kind of like this idea of just backtracking, by the way, because it's like, you need a reminder that you are getting super strong as a character, even though I've literally not done anything different to fight pretty much anything the entire game. It's just, now I've gone through, I've gone through several dungeons, I've found stronger armor, and my skills as a character have improved dramatically. I am now able to slash ghosts with a single swipe. I am able to divide slimes in half. You know, that kind of stuff. This, this game is the power fantasy. <laughs> it is a strictly numerical power fantasy, and I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, a action adventure is always a fun, like, uh, huh, kind of genre divide. I, I don't know what's going on there. Um, there are games that I can definitely define as, uh, adventure. I don't necessarily know if, uh, looking at the list, 
the stray count as an adventure game? I never know what to categorize stray as, I guess. Uh... So let's see, where am I going? I'm going, that's the edge of the map. I think I keep going south. But I did just see a skeleton. That, may... that doesn't mean I'm south enough. No, nope, there's another bridge, there we go. So I died about here because I was fighting, like, really strong enemies, or at least... Was it here or was it the next, like, kind of bit? I think it might have been the next bit. Like, the moment I started walking down here, I got my butt kicked. Well, good news. If I lose money, it's not really a problem. Because I got the magic armor. Uh, check it out! This is a, uh, destroyed city. And there's also... Druins. There's, there's, there's enemies all over the place. So there we go. Uh, so I'm pretty sure you gotta pick up, like, something in this town. Maybe we... I'm pressing A on a bunch of stuff. Oh. Keep finding more enemies. It's just a werewolf, it's fine. Oh my gosh! You see that? I ain't finding a werewolf, bro. I ain't fighting the werewolf, jeez. How about let's return back, because I'm thinking like, well, if he's given armor. Armor is nice, but... Is it necessary right now? I'm not thinking it is. Die, Wyvern. And the only thing is, you gotta keep continuing on. So, I think from here on, there may be the, the elusive metal slimes, but I don't know how reliably you can actually, like, get the metal slimes. Uh, do they appear in C? No, they don't. You just gotta dance around here, maybe, just maybe, you'll get a metal slime. Yeah, I don't even know if this is even quite the right place. It says B on my end. It could have metal slimes. But it also says there are... Magic Wyverns. And there's definitely not, uh, Wolf Lords. So, I don't know. Maybe they did it wrong. Oh well. We'll keep going on. Look at this guy. It's the Arm Knight. He's a big guy. For me. This is how you know it's serious business. Oh, he's, he's stopping me from casting spells. He hits decently hard, though. He's not, he's not too rough. He's not too rough. 78 experience, though. It's definitely a fair bit. I'm actually pretty close to the level up as well, so that's good. Let us continue the adventure. Walking around town. And I hope you like, uh... Mazes. Oh, it's a... It's a Shadul Knight. Shadul... <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoop. He deals a bit of damage as well. Oh, but at least he's over quick. 90 experience. So I don't quite know if I'll be able to, like, necessarily get all the way to the end here. But I feel like I could just throw myself at it. A star wyvern. Well, we got the crit. And we got the kill. And now I'm level 13. Sick. So level 13 gives you another 7 health, 5 MP, 4 strength. Well, no. Nah. But uh, we got return. Return uh, is otherwise known as its more modern Dragon Quest name, Zoom. Uh, but there's only one place you can zoom to, and that's back to your home. So the moment you use it, you go back to... Um, Tantagel t uh, Castle. But you know what? Sometimes you really do want to just go back to the castle. Because it also means you can just 
saved the game. It's a it's a feature that's like, yeah, I can accept it. That wasn't really a <laughs> substantial heal, but yeah, okay, we got the kill. 120 experience. These guys are definitely given a lot of experience, but granted, this is also like this is really nearing like the the meat and bones of the the game by this point. I mean, granted, this whole game's been meat and bones, but uh, so what's another game uh, award category? How about the don't die and cast healing on yourself before you get knocked out? I'm gonna do it again. Oh my gosh, really? Really? I set myself up. I don't know if you've got a better heal at some point in the game as well. Oh, jeez. The misses, I was not- I was not happy with the missing, uh... How much does return cost? Eight. So don't heal. Pretty sure it's one of these spots. Ah! The Madge Wyvern, you can tell he's evil because he's facing right. Well, at least he's dead in two two ticks. Two two hits. What's this? The Lotto Seal? I'm glad that happened the moment I like stood on it as well. So the Lotto Seal, I believe you can equip? I think you can equip. So if I go to it, steal a magic iron. No, you can't. Oh, that was one of the items that one guy was looking for. Sense of courage, swelled in Bundo. There you go. Uh yeah, there's more, there's one other thing to see over here, but I'm gonna return and we'll, we'll heal up. I don't think I even did heal up last time, I just kind of kept going. Because the inn's in this place, but it's like, well, I mean, what are you gonna fight on the way here? Like, one, one, one scorpion? Not even a scorpion, a slime. Uh, so anyway, let's look up uh, another one of these uh, categories that I laughed at. Um, I hate how they do sports racing as one category because I can think of a handful of racing games that arguably may be better than FIFA. I, it's a different kind of game. You know, you can't tell necessarily whether FIFA is going to be a better game than than a uh, Dakar Desert Rally or Grid Legends, and I know people weren't really particularly fond of Grid Legends, but at the very least, they're racing games and they deserve to be celebrated in the racing category and not completely toppled by NBA 2K23. Also, sports and racing games are very dime a dozen. I understand we want to celebrate the, you know, like, the industry, but it's like, yeah, I mean, the industry is kind of driven, like, the sports and racing games, sports games in particular, it's like, there's not many sports games that can stand out on their own, or like, they're not like, licensed by other things. Um, in this racing, or in this category, Gran Turismo and Oli Oli World are the two non-licensed franchises. As in, Gran Turismo is still a franchise, Oli Oli World is, I think, the third game? Of like, it's an indie franchise though, but it's still just like, yeah, it's a bit of a franchise. But at least they're not like, you know, it's not F1. It's not the official license F1 game. It's not the official license FIFA game. Um, and FIFA is one of the oldest franchises that has still been doing annual releases for so long. Um, do they deserve to be celebrated? Sure, but, you know, it's very hard to Oscar-worthy the, you know, the Game Awards when it's like, this would be like, uh, I don't even know, what's an annual franchise kind of film? It's like constantly calling Transformers best, like, Best, like, figurine film. I don't- I don't know, that's probably not accurate at all, but... I would like to see a magic s uh, sorry, a, a mad dracky. A, um, a metal sign, please. So I think this is the bottom of the world. Nope, it's still not the bottom. Oh, whoops, I'm, I'm still nowhere near it. Nice. 
Gold Man. Well, I'm level 13, so I should be able to deal a bit more to, to the Gold Man. I was able to get him in three hits before, wasn't I? Yeah. I was still able to get him in three hits, but... More money! I feel like, I feel confident enough to actually, like, go for... I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. So I don't know where exactly I'm supposed to stand here, but... There is just a whole dragon! Okay, I knew this area was, like, filled with, like, trickier enemies. I didn't- I forgot that just whole dragons in here. Well, okay, we did it, guys. Three hours into Dragon Quest, we found the dragon. Well, I can defeat the dragon, at least. I don't know if I'm, like, crazy confident in this one, but... Let's see if I stand... Let's see. One of these places. I think you just walk into it. I don't know if I'm just gonna press A into it. No, I don't think there really is any on-screen indicator though. Oh, nope. Maybe let's pull up a map. Uh, give me a map of a dungeon that's called... It's not really a dungeon, is it? Map of the town? It's not really a town, either. It doesn't... <laughs> I've just got one thing that says, like... Head to the middle of town... ...to find a green patch. What does that mean? Also, here I am, fighting the werewolf yet again. Can I- can I stack the werewolf? I got the leg up here. Oh! Sick! You just gotta go in, you gotta be confident to take out the werewolf. So, yeah. Head to the green patch of grass in the middle of town. This is all green. Enter it from the only direction you can go. Is that what they mean? This spot? No. Is this what they mean? No, because I stood there. Also, I'm not in the center of town anymore. That? No. <laughs> it's not a particularly big town. I don't really know what green patch they could possibly be referring to. There is no green anywhere else. Ugh. There is a car outside my house. Nice. Give me a map! Domdora map NES? Uh... Oh, okay, I think the green patch is there, on the right? Unless I haven't even triggered who's gonna give me the thing. Oh. Ah, here's the fight! It's a mad knight! And he's gonna kick my butt. He is actually gonna kick my butt. I'm just gonna die. Like, he, he's dealing more than 30 damage. I've got no solution for that. Can I flee? Can I, can I get out of here? Nope. Well, okay. How could you die? Alright, the good news. Just... Oh, and I hit B. I hit B. I was like, oh, I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna hit B now. Well, at least I saved. <laughs> Don't do what I did. Don't do what I did. Well, I've got one other thing I can do. Or two other things, I guess, because I've got the seal that I can use to trade for goodies. For a goodie. Also, I guess level 13, like... We're getting... We're getting 
I mean, level level 19 is where the last spell is. Just <laughs> just for now, it's uh, it's not too far off, really. That guy is still still too weak for me, and I keep going down here when when you don't go down. So, uh, so anyway, I memed on best sports racing game, but also may I note that best family game includes Nintendo Switch Sports. Now. If I wanted to be an honest person, I, like, I would talk about the games that I would want to win. Um, but honestly, you can only really know what games are good when you've played them. Most people have probably not played most of these games. But the website for the Game Awards encourages you to vote for every category. Which means you're going to vote for categories where you've never played any of the five games. I think that's more okay for, like, the games with you know, best action adventure game, best fighting game, it's like, yeah, I mean, people who know fighting games probably know, you know, have played a few of them, and have a good idea which ones they prefer than others. Sure. When you get to, like, best audio design, and it's like, you've got people who've played Elden Ring, but they've never played Gran Turismo 7. It's like, it's, it's bizarre, because now you've just turned that category into a popularity contest. And in particular, a popularity contest amongst critics, because 90% of the vote comes from critics. So, the critics have to go, hmm... Let's, let me, let me tell, let me tell you, have more critics learned about God of War Ragnarok or Gran Turismo 7? I just feel like that's just immediately, like, an offset. I don't think critics are going to reliably pick Gran Turismo 7. If Gran Turismo 7 wins, by the way, when the awards happen, um, when? December 8th? So, two weeks. Three, three weeks. Count me out. In three weeks' time, if Gran Turismo 7 wins best audio design, I shall eat my words on that one. Because that is remarkable. That is amazing. Um, it's a dead night. Um, best family game, by the way, uh, is... Um, another, like, yeah, Nintendo dominates the category. Interestingly, Nintendo's only other game that's really, like, escaping. Uh, they've got Bayonetta 3 exclusively for best action game. Dude, imagine how much salt would have been if, uh, Bayonetta 3 got, um, a nomination for, uh, best, uh, voice performance. I've not played the game, I can't tell you if it really does, if it really should have deserved it, but I can tell you, it would have been funny. Um... Uh, so Bayonetta 3's best action game, and then someone's gonna get angry if, uh, there's no Nintendo game as Game of the Year, so they've put, uh, Xenoblade 3 in there, which I thought was kinda interesting, because I know people like Xenoblade, but I also didn't think Xenoblade had enough widespread appeal to become a Game of the Year nomination. There you go, it's a medley. Now, metal slimes can run away, and they're also awkward, and they will, you will miss them quite frequently. They're also missing me quite frequently. And then you deal one damage to them. So you've just got to keep getting lucky and getting one hit. Don't bother using the spell. The spells will definitely miss. But if you get him, if you get him, dang it. Dang it. If you get him, he drops a lot of experience. He's basically going to give you a free level up. Um, maybe even more at my stage. I don't know. Uh, so if you ever feel like you're missing out, Actually, stuff it. Let's just go back. Let's just go back. I'm, I'm gonna guarantee one, because then that'll put me on the right foot. But then you also gotta fight Shadow Knights. Who are also equally as crafty and dodging all my attacks. Wow! I don't deserve to live after that! I don't deserve to live after that performance! Jeez, I missed three times? Is there actually, like, a... Th a thing in game on like, oh, Shadow Knight's a... Uh... I guess it's a Demon Knight, I guess that's the translation. Oh, we you record your quest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good. But man... I guess it's the agility stat. Jeez. Um... I mean, no, my money... I'll oh, give me my money. Yeah, 1370. Done. I also love how we've probably seen most of the enemies in the game by now. 
I can't think of like too many other ones that haven't shown up. There's a few, there's a couple, but I want to say there's like six. There's probably about like 40 or something enemies in the game and we're only, we've only missed out on six, plus uh, the end boss. So still making good progress. Don't worry, don't worry. Every every time I, I run into a tough enemy, I'm defeating a few on the way. Man, there's a lot of lot of noises outside right now. I've had cars blaring, sirens, car alarms. Well, it's crazy, so. Um, yeah, uh, any other Game Awards nominations? Overwatch 2 for best multiplayer game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, okay, so the meme I was going to do with Overwatch 2 was, uh, like, oh, the game's going to come out this year. It can't have come out in 2016. Which doesn't even count because Among Us was in categories in 2020. And everyone forgot that one. Um, but uh, the hard rule for this Game Awards is that, uh, and, and I quote the FAQ, games had to be uh, released between uh, November 20 last year and November 18 this year. November 18 this year, by the way, was four days after the nominations came out. And yes, that could have included Pokemon. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet could have been Game of the Year nominations because for some odd reason, you could nominate games after. Um, I know the Golden Joystick Awards, um, which I have a fairly, like, just kind of it's like, oh, you know, these are our best games and that kind of stuff. I appreciate Golden Joystick. It doesn't try to, like, pretend to be anything, like, too massive. I feel like the Game Awards pretend to be like, oh, this is the be-all, end-all award ceremony. But then, like, there's so many announcements. It's like, I'm just watching E3. I'm just watching a press showcase. Uh, and then proceed to get hyped about a bunch of games that, like, you can tell who's going to win. Or... It doesn't really matter who wins, because it's just like, like the Game of the Year nominations, it's like, like, we, we all look at that list and go, is Stray even going to be considered in any category other than possibly best, best art direction? It got a lot of social media, like, attention, and I think, fair enough, but it's also like, yeah, I, I don't know necessarily if Stray is really gonna, like, pick up any of these. So I just, I just watch it. Okay, okay, we gotta get him. And he's casting fireballs at me. By the way, if you get lucky and you get a crit, that is going to kill him, because the crit is gonna ignore his defense. We haven't, haven't gotten there just yet. Alright. At least it's in this area. It's, at least it's in this area. Um, but yeah, at least the, the joystick awards. The Golden Joysticks, at least they go, hey, if the game comes out, like, after the nominations, but before the, um, you know, the deciders, in very special circumstances, they'll count them. And I'm like, at least they make it explicit like that. Um, I also appreciate just the regular Oscars, where the nominations are February, the awards are March, and the cutoff is just things that came out in 2021, things that came out in that year. As in, like, it's first showing. Uh, and I'm like, that simplifies it a lot. Because when we're trying to deal with a November to kind of November release window, it gets a bit confusing. And also you get stuff like that, where games come out... I mean, God of War literally came out two weeks ago. It came out last week when I was talking about last stream, and now it's come out two weeks ago. And, uh, it's been nominated for ten categories, because apparently people love it so much. It's like, it hasn't even, like, settled in people's minds. It's already, like, up there. And I'm worried it's going to win various categories purely because it's recent um, and not because it stands out on its own. And uh, I guess that's a big thing with all of these Game of the Game Awards 2022, whatever. All of these games are not games that I think particularly hold up strong compared to the best games of several other years. I, like, you know, someone's going to tell me, oh, I'm wrong, like, Elden Ring is great. Good for you. Sure. And sure. Elden Ring. We can take that one. If we, we can take one. I don't know if God of War Ragnarok is necessarily that game. Some people are loving it. Some people are not necessarily. I don't know. Um, 
I don't really think any of the other ones on the list are going to be games like that, where it's like they're games that people are going to be talking about for years and years and years. Um, does anyone remember Dragon Age Inquisition? That game unanimously was, um, I think the game of the year of, uh, 2017, I think? Let me double check. No, that was Breath of the Wild. 2016? Nope. That was Overwatch. And we all know how that one went. 2015? Nope. 2014? 2014. I know 2014 was a while ago, but I feel like out of 2014, there are some other games that people talk about much more than Dragon Age Inquisition. Particularly, I think people talk about uh, Destiny a fair bit. People talk about Shovel Knight a fair bit. Um, there are a lot of weird categories in 2014 as well, like Developer of the Year. Like, what does that even mean? It went to Nintendo, but sure. Um, South Park, The Stick of Truth. I don't know. There's like there's games that kind of exist at that time, and then there's also like games that like I guess, but uh, you know, I think they're popular now for very different reasons. Like Smash Brothers, Wii U, and Mario Kart 8 are just because there are sequels that are much more relevant on you know Nintendo's newer consoles. Um, Hearthstone is definitely one that like I guess that did last for a few years. I don't know if necessarily it still lasts. Um, but, uh, Middle of Shadow of Mordor, I think, is a game that maybe it's not necessarily better than Dragon Age Inquisition, but the impact is much more. A lot of people still talk about Shadow of Mordor to this day, but I don't know, Dragon Age Inquisition, I don't know if it's necessarily lasted that, that much. I look at 2015, you know, I look at that and I go, yeah, Witcher 3, Bloodborne as well while we're at it. Jeez, every single one of those games in 2015, like, people praise the heck out of it. Yeah, Witcher 3, Bloodborne, Fallout 4, Noga Sub 5, and Mario Maker. Mario Maker holds a special place in some people's hearts. I feel like it was one of those, you gotta put a Nintendo game on there or else people yell at you kinds of things. And honestly, 2015 is a year that maybe Nintendo fans would choose to forget, although Splatoon came out and it won Best Shooter that year over Halo 5. That was a good meme. Also, Undertale, like, uh... Did it win Best Indie Game? They didn't even have a Best Indie Game category. They didn't even have- oh, they did. And it went to Rocket League. Didn't even go to Undertale. That was another one where it's like, all of those indie games were solid. It's just like, sometimes there is a year where there's so many good games, and then there's just years like, like this year, where I just feel like, mmm, it's kind of obvious. Uh, shout out, by the way, to best role-playing game going to a Witcher 3 DLC in 2016. I, I guess also there was a World of Warcraft DLC, but also there was Xenoblade X. Uh, to, to be honest, I don't think people particularly love Xenoblade X. It's a, it's an acceptable game. It's just... Game Award. Game of the Year. Maybe that's a thing. The general trend of games turning into, or like, f sorry, fewer games coming out makes it a lot harder for really there to be more great games in a year. But I also think that maybe there are great games in a year and we're only looking at really the biggest ones. The ones with the biggest marketing. Otherwise they're relegated to indie categories and then you never see them, I don't know. That car alarm is still going off. That's amazing. What even triggers car alarms like that? Like, I understand maybe, like, tree branches and stuff like that, but that assumes someone's actually, like, breaking into the car or just something hit the car. Now it stopped. Now my ears are like, oh, relief. <laughs> um, yeah, 2017, a lot of it went to Breath of the Wild. Some people may have been salty that it didn't go towards... Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Are you kidding me? Was that really the game that was nominated that year for Game of the Year? Derage Scorpio! I really want that Metal Slime, but I'm already level 14 now. I'm not getting much older than that. Uh, was 2018 a bit of a meme year? I think it was, actually. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is definitely a game that no one really talks about anymore. Assassin's Creed still exists, but it has no sway. 
the winner went to God of War that year, and Spider-Man was in there, and I think people still love both of those games. Monster Hunter World as well, I think a lot of people really, really love. Um, I was talking to a mate about sales numbers on Monster Hunter, and it's like, Monster Hunter 4 was big. Monster Hunter World was massive. So, like, like, we were trying to figure out, like, would you call Monster Hunter World, like, taking the game mainstream, and I kind of had this, like, opinion of, I think Monster Hunter 4 sold enough that it was mainstream, but it was, like, super mainstream for Monster Hunter World. Uh, point is, that one's lasted. Uh, the other Game of the Year nomination was Red Dead 2, and I think Red Dead, uh, like all Rockstar games, is popular because it's a Rockstar game, and it's filled with lots of, uh, lots of detail, lots of stories. I, I didn't even get a chance on that one. Darn. Keep fighting our knights. Uh, 2019 went to... Yeah, okay. 2019's one of those. Where I'll go... It was a lot weaker of a selection. Uh, the winner went to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. And I think people do love Shakiro. Um, Shakiro? I, I, I'd just end the stream on that one. I mixed up Shakiro Shadows and Sekiro in my head. All in one. Shakiro. Uh, just imagine I'm singing Hip Stunt Lie right now. Not imagine some Sekiro footage. Point is, Sekiro is a game that I, I know people really enjoy. I don't know if that's amplified by high amounts of uh, from software praise, um, but it's certainly a game that I look at and I go, hey, it's different. It is different, at least. It is not a typical Souls game in the same way as Elden Ring kind of is a typical Souls game. Um, and again, someone will tell me I'm wrong on that one. Uh, but then the other games nominated that year are games that at least you can kind of go, yeah, they're not, like, perfect. Or really quiet. Like, incredible. Maybe they are. Maybe they're definitely, like, impressive in bits, but overall as a whole package. Control, Death Stranding, The Outer Worlds, Resident Evil 2, and Smash Brothers Ultimate. We're back to praising Smash Brothers again. I love Smash Brothers, but again, like, it is hard for Smash Brothers to be a best of the year, because it's a different beast. All these games are different beasts. Um, Resident Evil 2, people do praise. People do praise the remake of Resident Evil 2. Um, I don't know much about it in particular, but I, I know a lot of people really love, like, how, just, how solid it is. Um, Death Stranding as well, similar boat. It's like, when Death Stranding is its best, people absolutely love it. I don't know necessarily if Death Stranding is, like, the best, though. I think some people have some quirks with, like, uh, how the pacing or the, the, I guess, the fact that the game is fairly metaphorical. And that you, you, like, it's a lot less action-y than they may have expected. Um, control, I think also people say it's neat. Um, but then it's kind of like, gameplay-wise, it's over and done with. And the most I see of Control is more as a ray-tracing standpoint, which I don't think really was a major consideration back in this time. Also, by the way, uh, best technical graphics never end up in any of these categories. I always think that's a interesting one where, like, um, but I guess, like, you know, the Grammys don't necessarily talk about, like, music, uh, technology necessarily. Like, the brand new, uh, I don't know my new music tech much, but it's like, you know, here's, like, a new instrument, basically. Here's, like, a really interesting way to, like, generate music. Never gonna beat these metal slimes, apparently. We're not the... <laughs> Again, again, these metal slimes just to kick my butt. Well, they're not even kicking my butt. They're not kicking anything. Listen, if I run out of if I run out of magic, we're just gonna we're just gonna go. I'm just gonna go to the place I need to go to. So we'll go with that. Um, the Outer Worlds is a game that I think a lot of people love to trash on. I enjoyed it. I'm, I'm a terrible person because I enjoyed it, apparently. Um, but people trash on it because they're like, in hindsight, it's just not as good as New Vegas. And I definitely see where people are coming from, but I also kind of go, eh, it's its own thing. And I kind of like how tight it is. Like, it's not as open-ended as New Vegas. And that means that everything I do feels like it was crafted specifically because the game knows I came from XYZ. And I feel like that's a bit more special and well, that, that's special in some ways and less in others. 
Um, but I do kind of like it there. Uh, and then yeah, if I go to 2020... 2020 we can at least say is one of those years where I don't think any of these games are going to particularly last forever. Except ironically, the, the indie game that managed to hit uh, the Game of the Year category. So the winner was The Last of Us Part 2. Um, I think The Last of Us Part 2 kind of exists in the same space as God of War where... You know, it rubs some people the wrong way and also... I don't know if uh, Sony's exclusives are necessarily getting as much widespread appeal as... Uh, maybe... Uh, well, I don't know actually. I think a lot of people do play it, but... I don't know, I feel like that's kind of like a cutoff. There's like a lot of people who play Sony's exclusives and then mostly other big games, and it's kind of like maybe the circles I go around in is just like, oh, no, I never played Last of Us. Or it's like I played Last of Us 1 back in the day. That kind of stuff. Uh, I do know a few people are playing God of War though, so that was that. But the other ones of that year are Animal Crossing New Horizons, which is amazing. I didn't, I, like, I didn't think New Horizons is like a crazy groundbreaking game, but it's like, you know, the perfect game for, uh, the lockdown era. Doom Eternal and, uh, I definitely know Doom Eternal is not as good as 2016. It's got some bits that are neater, and some bits that are like, oh, I wish, I wish it was tighter. Um, but sure, Final Fantasy VII Remake people enjoy, but I don't know if people are necessarily gonna, like, like, talk about it in a gameplay sense. In the story sense, it's got a lot of... I don't know, maybe it's because I haven't been looking into spoilers. But, everything I know about that game, like, the big points people grab onto are also points that are in regular Final Fantasy VII. So, I don't know. Ghost of Tsushima, people actually really loved, and I'm surprised it was... it was dropping out, but groundbreaking, I don't know. I don't know if it would be other kind of Game of the Year nominations. And Hades, which actually would. And, and yet, uh, okay. It's an indie game, you don't count it. Dang it, dang it. We're never gonna beat that Metal Slime. Uh, and lastly, 2021, uh... 2021 is definitely emblematic of that. Uh, the winner, It Takes Two, I think people will definitely cherish for a bit, although... I always worry about the, uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, is it cyclic feedback of, uh, the sh you know, an older Game Awards going, uh, here's Yosef Farah's with his brand new studio, and he's like, it's great, F the Oscars, you know, good name, haha, we laugh, and then he keeps kind of being propped up on this show, and then, like, granted, it takes two, I think people really, really enjoyed. But it's also like, man, you know, like... Would would he have one other... What is going on right now? <laughs> We're both just constantly swatting past each other. Um, I don't know if it would have necessarily won everyone's awards ceremonies. Uh, oh, there you go, there's the crit! Woo! Woo! How much experience do you get? 775. That didn't, that didn't even get me a level up. I think, is 10,000 the level up? 10,000 is the level up, so, eh, I'm a hot moment away from getting a level up, so might as well go for that, sleep at the end, and then we'll, we'll fight, we'll continue. Die, Shadow Knight. Um, the other categories, uh, or the other nominations of last year were Deathloop, which people unanimously go, yeah, nah. Like, Deathloop's fine. But fine is not game of the year. I guess that's the big thing. Um, Metro Dread, people definitely liked. Don't know if it would necessarily be... I guess it's tough to necessarily know if a game is um, the long-lasting uh, game... Sorry, what, how do I phrase it? Like it will be a forever best of kind of game. Not necessarily sure if, if you know, more recent games feel like that, but... Uh, Metro Dread... It's got a better chance than Psychonauts 2. Again, I think people enjoyed Psychonauts 2, but I don't know necessarily if it's uh, long last like that. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, certainly I don't hear anyone talk about that one anymore. And Resident Evil Village, uh, same boat. People enjoyed it. People liked their vampire, uh, the vampire mum, but... Um, other than that, like, 
That was it. I was like, yeah, out of all of those, yeah, it takes two actually has a decent chance. But like, compared to, you know, I people always note the uh, the holiday 2001 lineup from um, from a uh, Sony on the PS2 as like sometimes there are just times when every game was amazing, like so many great games come out in like such a short period, and now it's like this is the entire year and like. We put Death Loop in that list. It's like we're really kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel there. Um, ironically, there's probably other games that like are in other categories that people would probably rank higher. I think people would probably rank Forza Horizon 5 higher than any of those other games. I think people might actually uh, rank um, Guardians of the Galaxy higher than either of the or any of those games. And Deathloop won various other categories, and I think people will maybe go on, huh? Game direction? Really? So, definitely, like... Well, at the end of the day, do the Game Awards mean anything? No. Maybe. Maybe they do. But I think the Game Awards needs to become prestigious. There needs to be more games. I think that's the big thing. There's too, I think there is too much money into too few games, and uh, we end up in the situation where we start kind of going like, th that was Bethesda's big game of the year, Deathloop. That was the only thing this massive multi, I think they're actually multi-billion dollar student, like, company. That was the biggest thing they were pushing out. Metroid Dread, similar deal. It was kind of like, yeah, that was Nintendo's real big thing for 2021. I got a couple of other games, but... Well, like, like, uh, I don't know if a new Pokemon Snap would have necessarily won that one. So... Yeah, there needs to be more games. Um, and also just... I think... Gold, man. I think we just need a bit more, like, push for, like, how do I phrase it? I feel like indie games need to stop being, like, underdeveloped cash grabs. Generally, I know there are certainly really good quality indie games. I know that there are a low bunch of indie games that still capture ideas perfectly fine. I'm not saying games like Undertale need to necessarily change. Um, I was actually thinking to myself, Undertale is a real, like, curious game because it never updated. Undertale was one thing, and it remains as one thing. It was eternally just that. Maybe I think there were bug fixes, but I don't recall Undertale ever adding anything past launch as a feature. It was just like... That was my, that was Toby Fox's dream, and you know what, now he gets the right overworld music for Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet, which by the way, may I mention, the soundtrack is bopping. It's like, yeah, the graphics are kind of, ugh, but man, my ears are amused. I'm torn between two worlds on this one. I do enjoy me a good soundtrack, that, that helps me a lot. A lot of games skimp on their soundtrack. Come on, Arm Knight, bring it on. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's Metal Slime. Let's, let's have a shot. Let's have a shot at Nope. No chance. Oh well. I feel like by the, like, very, very end game enemies, it's probably, like, wow! Wow, I'm not getting anywhere. Um, I feel like by the super end game enemies, the metal slime kind of wears a bit thin if you really wanted to get some levels, but again, I'm level 15 now. We're not particularly needing too much more experience. Like, yeah, a bit more, but not like tons more. So anyway, keep walking up here on this side of the little mountain range. I think I might encounter some fairly tough enemies. Maybe? 
Actually, I think it might be the same enemies as, uh, the decrepit town. I don't think it's, uh... Yeah, it's a Star Wyvern who's suddenly attacking. Nice. I'm actually kind of amazed how vital, like, the best equipment is. Oh, he can heal more, really? The heal more is, like, such, like, a meme. I'm still, I think I'm still two levels off from, like, being able to heal more as well. Okay, we're just going in for it. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> You gotta, like, you gotta throw yourself. You gotta throw yourself at this one. <laughs> Man, I, I love, by the way, that, like, the the end of the last stream, I threw myself at, like, that direction, and then I got, like, really whooped. And now it's like... Yeah, I'm an hour 36 into this stream, and it's just like, yep, I am still going in that direction, and I'm still getting whooped. There's, there's like, no overlap. I don't know. Oh my gosh. We're getting there. We're getting there. Again. Just keep keep throwing yourself at it. Keep throwing yourself at it. So I think level 20 is... Uh, I think I'm seeing 26,000 experience, which is... Uh, we're not quite halfway there yet, but uh, the experience gets quicker and quicker. Unless I keep getting metal slimes properly, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Um, there we go. Alright, so don't get wrecked by the things that are also in that town. Magician. But yeah, we'd be looking forward to the stuff, the things that are coming up in the uh, upcoming weeks. Um, definitely, it's uh, I mean, it's the 21st of November. Like now, I think about it, it's like there's a stream next week, and then we've got maybe I think three weeks before Christmas. There are four more streams. Possibly before Christmas. I gotta figure out what I'm doing at that time, but uh, if I can't do the 19th, it's a Christmas stream, I'll let you know, but yeah, I'm just thinking, it's like, yeah, like, the end of the year is coming super fast, so better get those presents, you know, get those Black Friday sales, trample all over people, you know the drill, you know the routine, uh, I gotta go... I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting, I'm not even down there yet. I get the money from the goldman, I lose the money from the goldman. That's the routine of this game. Definitely hold on to still a lot, but again, like, there's only two things left to purchase in the game, really. Pretty much there's a... There's a really good shield, and that's the big thing I want to save up for. And if I can try and not die, that'd be great. Uh, and there is a better sword, but I am also... Curious whether I just replace that with a really, really good sword. Like, is, is the armor... I mean, the armor doesn't get replaced, whereas... The sword has a, uh, replacement that you get. And granted, this, this armor that I'm wearing also gets a replacement, but at least I get to use it now. Damage feels different, you know? There we go. More arm knights. So, there's actually this bizarre point in the game, I don't, like, various RPGs will do different kinds of, like, you know, experience curves, that kind of stuff. Uh, this game is definitely, generally, you know, 
the next level has more experience required than the one before, but interestingly, uh, level 15 is at 10,000 experience, level 16 is 13,000, level 17 is 16,000, 18 is 19,000, and 19 is 22,000. They are all 3,000 experience apart, which means technically, if you're fighting the same enemies, they all take the same amount of time. But you're probably not fighting the same enemies all the time. So here we go, take two. Or do we just run? I can fight a Magwyvern. It's the star one. The star one's the real, like, mini poo poo. There we go. Bindo is victorious. Obtained some money. Okay. Romasea. Look at this! Look at this dude! So, I believe. Uh, do we do it now or. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll do it in the battle. Press A on him, and this is the golem. This is the first boss of the game? I think he is the first boss. He is bulky. You could fight him. In fact, actually, let's take a hit. Let's let's see how much damage. 34. He hits hard. 39 damage back. What you gotta do is you gotta play the pixie flute in the battle. Someone at some point in the last stream, one of the people I talked to said this. He falls asleep. And that lets you hit him in the face. And that lets you hit him in the face. And then he woke up. So you gotta put him to sleep again. <laughs> put him to sleep again. <laughs> this only works on this guy, by the way. This is what the pixie flute is for. Purely to make this guy, like... An easier, an easier fight. Uh, someone, someone made, in the retro achievement set, by the way, made a achievement for beating this guy without using the flute. He gives you pretty much a free level. 2,500 experience is a lot of experience. And, and then no money. <laughs> Don't need the money, but yeah. Uh, but anyway, there you go. So that's boss one. There are three bosses in the game, so, uh. And here we are, a new town. Uh, you don't have to fight that guy ever again, by the way. He never shows back up. Uh, this guy sells really nothing. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. How you doing? Welcome to Mikado, the fortress city. Uh, I guess... <laughs> Whoops. I may have defeated your big fortress. This town is also, like, really in the middle of nowhere. I'll tell you that, like... I feel like once I grab my stuff, I kind of want to get out. Welcome to my item shop, how may I help you? Uh, he sells D-Scale, I've already got one, and Warpwing, which I can just use. Zoom. That's all good. Hi, beets are on special day, huh? You don't look like you need beets. The item shop's over there. Oh. <laughs> Bookcases, no go. What should I make for supper? I... Why... Okay. <laughs> Just make something yourself, bro. Let's check what's in this magical room. Hi there. A family ran a shop in Domodora for generations. When Grandfather Yukonov ran the shop, the town was raised by monsters. He somehow managed to get his family out and settle down here. Luckily, the shop had been popular, so he had enough savings to start a new life. We're still comfortable. Fun? Where was this shop then? I think it was the east side of town. The key? Oh, cool. He has a key. Uh, so that guy's telling you basically about the armor on the east side of the town. You know, the one with the boss in the way that I didn't address? That is the next kind of big blocker for me. So, you're gonna have to take out that. Buy and sell weapons and armor. This guy knows what he's doing. Except he still doesn't sell anything better than what I've got. Hmm. How about you? Would you like some repellent to ward off monsters? It's 12 G ball. Repellent is uh, the same ability as me using repel. I think this is the the big secret. Oh, well, this person's also stuff. 
Look at my average shop, yeah. Hi. Oh. Did I already say hi to this person? Maybe I did. There we go. This is uh, a bit bizarre to be honest, but... What is a JRPG without some bizarre... Apologies. So this ground, I believe, hits you for five? Okay, it hits you for six. It's kind of shonky. It's real shoddy, but... You obtained the Lotto Seal. That is proof of the true hero. I'm going to visit the old man who lives in the sacred shrine south of Tantacle. Man, you know, I wish I wish he was going to give me something more useful there. Instead, he's just telling me, hey, you got it, you got it, you're all good. By the way, please hurt yourself on, on the ground everywhere. Can't believe that guy. Can't believe him. What do you have to say? If you seek the Lotto Seal, visit the Elder who lives in the shrine to the south of here. Yeah, I already picked it up, bro. He probably, he probably tells you about where it actually is south of here as well. Hi. My grandpa used to say this a lot. A friend of his, Yukon, buried an amazing treasure under a tree behind his shop. I don't have any idea what it is. I'd like to dig it up. But it's so unsafe out there. So I think that's the goal, basically. Hi. Storage service. Oh my gosh. There's a bank in this game. There's a... There's a, there's, a, there's a bank in this game. What? I forgot there was a bank. Oh, that love is on. Let's pass on. Well, we'll put the money in the bank. I know I'm going to drop it, so I might as well commit to 5,000 gold right then and there. There you go. For reference, at the time of filming, no one told me off on my last stream, so... Hi there. Uh, said that Draco Lord's claw is red steel and his fiery breath melts boulders. Bundo, knowing that, will you go? Yeah. Ah, you're truly a brave hero. A long time ago, when the world was swallowed by darkness, legend has it that a man fell from the sky. That man was the brave Lotto. If that legend is really true, Lotto must have been a child of heaven. I fell from the sky. I did it. Oh, look at that. Mystical door right there. What could be through this magical door? Hi. I buy and sell weapons and armor. So I think this guy, these are the two. Okay, these are the two. The super duper best sword and the best shield in the game. Now, the sword gets superseded. I don't know if the sword is necessarily worth it, but the shield is amazing. And also this guy sells keys, so if you need more keys, although they do cost more than, they cost more than the other place, but you know, you're probably gonna need more. Um, Definitely that shield, the extra 10 defense is probably necessary, so at some point I'm definitely going to need that, but is now the best time? Do you just grind money for that? That's a maybe, because honestly, there's no other better armor in the game. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, there's dragons here. The free experience, the free level from the, the last guys. A real nice like top up um but yeah now i think about it it's like yeah like there is only one better piece of armor in the game and that's the armor that you get from fighting the big guy who let's have a go at it let's have another crack uh that sword is better there is a better sword than that but that is the best shield there are only three shields in the game Definitely having a bit more health always helps, but I think the big thing that would really help me is uh, getting one more level, because then I get uh, to heal more. Or a mid-heal, as it's in other games. So, how much experience am I at? 13,770. I am nowhere near level 17. I am nowhere near it. I mean, how much, how much experience is a star wipe I'm gonna give? He dies too- he dies quick. 105? Gotta fight another 30 of them. Now, if you heal faster than the guy hits you, 
It actually balances out. It's not too bad, but... Or I could just beat the Metal Slime and get myself a third of the way there. I was hopeful. I was super hopeful. Done. So I guess... Where would you necessarily... I guess you'd, you'd farm at the... The town. Because you have... Sorry, not the... Well, there's two places to farm. But the town seems nice because you can immediately go to an inn and commit your money to the bank. Whereas if you farm at this town, like the, the derelict town, you you don't really have any, like, exit. You just kind of keep going. And then your exit is, like, the long walk back. I guess you could walk back to the castle, but... Yeah, I'm trying to figure this out in my head, and I'm like, wait, wait, what's the best way to, like, go about things? So, yeah. We shall keep fighting, Wyverns. Lots of money, though, I'll tell you that. Uh, oh. Sorry, I missed the desert? I did. So, I don't know, let's just take another stab at the... the big guy. I am gonna... maybe run into some of these, but I've got plenty of magic. It's not really an issue to just overheal. There we go. Victorious. All good. below here. Yeah, it was that green patch. Or in particular, it was the space before the green patch. There we go. Let's give him another go. Another fight for his money. The Mad Knight. Well, I bought myself a free turn. He hits hard. Oh, but I hit harder. I'm a god. I'm a god. What can I say? <laughs> Look at that! What's this? The Lotto Armor? Look, it's even got a picture there. That's how you know it's good. So, uh, now I believe the Lotto Armor... I don't know if the Lotto Armor heals you, but it's better armor. And that's kind of all you really need, isn't it? Oh, and it also means you don't take damage from these anymore. Uh, but the weird, like, shiny ones in that one town, still deal damage. Because why not? So, it's an extra four defense, and you gotta take all the defense you can get. But it should definitely help. Did I just one-hit the Wyvern? I did. <laughs> I love how, like, that guy, like, completely swept me the first time, and then it's just, like, literally the easiest time in the world, just then. That's how- that's- that's just it. That's the- that's the, you know, the power fantasy, you know? You have a good time, and you're like, sweet. I think the- the armor does heal one HP every step. So, it's even better than the magic armor. There's no point in having magic armor anymore. And you know what? You, you can sell that magic armor and get at least 3,000 back. So... Which means... Yeah, like, if I'm holding on to... I, I banked 5,000. I'm holding on to armor that sells for 3,800. And I'm holding on to 2,200 right now. Which means I have about 11,000 gold in stuff now, and I need 14,000 in order for the shield. Maybe 14,800. So it's a bit... Maybe I just go for it. Maybe we, maybe we just do it. We'll do that for the end of the stream. We'll get the, we'll get the shield. And then I have the shield. Uh... Oh, I'm in the other side here. Whoops. 
But these guys can't touch me now. Well, maybe if they breathe fire. Actually, 12 damage. 12 damage. You can react to 12 damage pretty okay. I'm gonna give you 169 gold, so... You know, they're already giving you 1% of the... The piece, let alone I'm already a fair bit towards the piece. It's a mag wyvern. Well, if I get crits, I'm doing amazing anyway. So yeah, you could get the sword, but I don't know if you need the sword. Werewolf. There we go. Yeah, the armor is definitely helping. That extra four defense, it's just, it's all you need. To like, super resist these guys. So back into the town. Let's, uh, sell off the, the magic armor. The magic armor, I'll give you 3850. Yeah, good stuff. So he's got 6742. Let's go to the, the bank. Drop that off. Actually, let's go to the inn as well. So I think I only need another 3,000, really, for the shield. Was it? Oh, no, oh, it, it was the next one. Yeah, I think I only need another 3,000 gold. So, eh, should be able to get that in a few minutes. Gold. Bum, 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 bum. Goodbye, money. Do the well. That's really weird that there's a bank there. I, I completely forgot there's a bank. For reference, we've seen every bit of the map now. Like, the only things I can think of that we haven't seen. Like, I'm trying to even think. Like, there's a big, you know, the end game castle, and that's a tricky, that's a tricky place, but... I'm trying to think, like, everywhere else? I want to say I've seen it. I mean, we've seen the whole map as well. The whole map is effectively like a big U-shape, where you saw it kind of in the middle. I know, I know, the wyvern's dealing a bit of damage. Alright, let's find let's heal it. I'm healing it, I'm healing it. It's kind of awkward. It's kind of getting in my way, that wyvern. So yeah, so 11,000 in the bank, just keep fighting these guys, get a bit of experience. Dragon! Get a bit of gold, we get that shield. Maybe we hit level 17 in the process and I can heal more. No, it's all good. How much experience are we at? 15,280, so definitely gonna hit level 17 first. Oh, how fun is it? How fun is it to just, like, play the numbers game? I don't know. Off the top of my head, it's just like, ah, oh. So engaging, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how entertaining this is, but... I kinda- I, I have, like, such, like, decently fond memories with this game. Even though I've only played it a couple of times, I'm just like... This, like, really captured just, like... Some spirit, some just, like, magical bit of just, like, this is... RPG in such a pure sense. I, ca I kept saying this last room as well, I just, I can't get over it. You just go around, you fight a monster, you gain experience. And then you use the money to buy cool stuff. And then, it's kind of over soon, like, again... You know, I got the best armor in the game right now. I'm about to save up for the best shield in the game. Definitely when I said, like, there may be three more streams of this, I'm like, nah, this is, this is definitely gonna end next stream, I know that one. You know, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. It's where you go, who you become. And you get to be, uh, the hero. They don't even name their Dragon Quest characters, they're all just the hero. 
because you are the hero. You get to name the character. I feel like there's like video essays on YouTube that like look way too into that and I'm like, I think it's just kind of fun and that's gonna end. <laughs> So, I only need about 2,000 more gold, as well, so... It's definitely taking their time to come out, though. Kicking their butts, that's why. But it's kind of... It's just kind of, like, amazing how, like... How... Just strong the, the whole experience, like... Well, not the whole experience, but like all stats just feel so impactful in this game. Like you're not just, I mean you are technically still just playing it for like, oh it's like four more, you know, defense or something like that. But then like you get into battle and it's like you feel that four defense. I got no idea how the stat is really like working under the hood, but like... Okay, I could really do it without this guy casting heal more all the time. This, this is getting really annoying. Especially because he... he it's kind of hard still. When he breathes fire, it's okay, but then he casts fireball and it's a lot of damage. Yeah, the, the star wyvern's kind of getting in the way. They make me a bit worried. How much? 85, okay. I'll buff out, a bit of a walk. The Druid Lord. Other than that though, yep, yeah, just... You know, the enemies are fun. They all feel, like, somewhat different because they all have their own kinds of, like... kinds of things, like the, the Wyverns casting Fireball and the... the Magicians maybe casting Sleep. The Scorpions defending, you know, like... It's just, it's, it's simple, but it's just like, ah, oh, it's... It all plays into this fun fundamental. Again, with the heal more. One day I'm gonna be able to do that. And then I'll be sorry. I've just gotta land like three hits back to back on that guy. It takes his time. Maybe I should begin the fire sword instead of the shield. Nah, the... The shield is like... Full on... That's what you need. You need the shield. And maybe you need the sword as well, but... <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. I feel like a level up will help, as well. And I love how it's just a dragon. It's just... There it is. That's the dragon. Keep walking back and forth on my app. 27.32. We're going for 3,800, I believe, because I've got 11,000 in the bank. They're all afraid. The enemies aren't coming out. Another, another Wyvern. Another Star Wyvern. And he's healing that one hit. Okay. Hit number two. Or hit number one. Hit number two. Oh, he's dead. He's gone. Cool. <laughs> Still no level up. 16, 4, 3, 5. 16, 4, 3, 5. Wait a minute. I don't think my numbers are correct. 16,000 should have given me the level. Hmm. Hmm. I must have fixed my experience curves. Tiss, tiss. Whoever wrote down... But this is the experience curve. Stop saying it's for the Game Boy Color version. <laughs> uh, I still got magic. I don't have that level. The worst part is that, like, you don't even have to guess the level, because you just talk to the, the king and he tells you how much experience until the next level. It's just that he's all the way over there and I don't want to walk over there.
The dragon is defeated. Still no level. I'm, I'm getting close to that money mark. We're nearly at the money mark by now. There we go, so... Hopefully, uh, as, as an aspirational dream... Also, did the... Aspirational dream. That sounds like I've been longing for it for so long, but uh... I've definitely been looking to upgrading computer components, and now's the time, so... It's possible by the next stream, I have brand new computer parts, which will hopefully make the streaming process a bit nicer. The 9700K is great, but when it comes time to re-encoding the videos, it takes a bit of its time, and I'm curious if maybe with a better CPU, I'll be able to, uh, to encode a better quality in the same amount of time, or do a bit of a less time. Strike some fine balance between the two. Um, but right now it's like, yeah, like I wake up on... Here's the routine, by the way. So I, the stream is at 8.30 p.m. local time in Sydney uh, on the Monday. I remux the video, which takes no time because um, you can't edit in MKVs, but you should be recording in MKVs because MKVs are restartable. Um, that's like the one catch. Um, and then, uh, there it is. So now I've got heal more, so in case I ever get caught out in the middle of a battle, I can heal more. And now I have 100 attack as well. It was 17,000. Bizarre. So 16,000 on the site. Dragon-quest.org. You gotta fix your stuff. There you go. Resist a bit more damage, and I'm gonna resist tons more in a hot moment, because... I'm able to afford the, the shield. I guess I could come back for the sword, but I don't know if I need the sword. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, and then uh, I wake up, I, I go through the video, which doesn't take too long. I kind of scrub it real quick. Um, usually, uh, any kind of encoding problems when I stream, it's like, it's, it's a bit terminal. It's usually not too bad. It's like, right now, it's like there's half a million frames in the stream, and I've dropped 27. It's not like too, too vital. Um, everything else is usually fairly in sync. Um, sometimes there's a bit of audio balance readjustment, but usually that applies to the whole stream as well. Uh, and other than that, it's like, you know, the occasional, like, bit on screen if I see, like, if I remember, it's like, oh yeah, like, something like that. Kind of shows up. So this guy is in the secret shop down here. Not that one. Actually, yes, that one. No, this is just where dead people are. These are the graves of people who were killed by monsters. Please pray for their souls. It's a bit tragic. It's actually a bit tragic. Where was the shop? I remember it had a key to enter it. Oh, it must have been up here. Yeah, 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 it was this one. There we go. Hi there. Welcome. What would you like to buy? I would like to buy the silver. Want to equip it right now? Yeah. The silver shield. And now I can sell the other one. So, sell the iron shield. I guess you 400 gold because that's how cheap it was. Uh, so, still got, yeah, still got the flame sword if I want the extra 8 uh, attack, but. Let's do a quick demo on that shield just to show how much it resists, and then uh, back to the back to the castle, which I don't even have to go by foot, but just to show it off. I'm actually kind of amazed how like little of a, of a grind it was. I feel like maybe that's the Game Boy Color version doing its wonders. So definitely, I still deal a fair bit of damage, but he was dealing 20 before. Now it's 15. And remember, I've got heal more. I could just you know snap my fingers and he's gone. And then I just walk a bit and all that health is mostly healed because this armor is cool as well. So, there's only a few things left. I think we basically just need to get the remaining bits of, um, what do I want? Uh, here's the test. Star Ivan, he was dealing like 20-something, now it's 17. It's great. It's awesome. I can just withstand it. Isn't that kind of weird? So there you go. 
Well, let's cast, also heal more, cost eight to heal, so that's, uh, that's a bit of magic. Now let's cast return, and return back to the king, or to the castle. I've got to walk uh, in. I think also as well, if I walk, uh, I want to say there's a secret door in here. I mean, like, there's this area over here. Actually, why did I even go to it at the end? Because I know this guy just heals you. And the gods bring light to Bindo the- Yeah, that flash is just a full heal. You didn't even have to pay for that one. Just take some torches. These guys are giving me the tips that I walked past before. I can't believe it. Well, there's less failure in this stream, I'll tell you that. Uh... There we go, there's the door. I should have known. I was right where the door was. The Mystic Nut! Look at that! Increase that max MP. These are, these are just like, s stat increases that I've just been sitting on. I could have been using these the whole time. Except that's an actual key. This, that one's fine. And that's just money, but... Sure, okay. A real hero wouldn't steal. Yeah, I, I feel judged. I feel deeply judged. And that one's on me, to be honest. Uh... <laughs> Let's see, where else was there? Did that? Oh, that goes around the back. I'm pretty sure there's another kind of secret around the back. It's a big castle, I'll tell you that. Like, yeah, it is the only castle, but... Still doesn't, you know, make it feel any smaller. Hi there, how you doing? I'm looking for the basement. Somewhere in this castle. So I'm pretty sure this guy... This guy also sells keys. So if you need some quick keys, you can use a key to buy more keys. And this person also says, When rain and sun come together, a rainbow will form a bridge. It's a saying from long ago. Hi, how you doing? It's dangerous to go beyond here, don't go unless you're sure of your strength. You've done well together. You, you may be able to defeat the monsters in the Tomb of Garen. Go to the town of Garen and push against the wall of darkness. Your path will reveal itself. Now that's our big tip to continue on. This guy clearly is testing that you've either got health or the armor. If we go here, you're so young and you're on a dangerous and demanding journey. I'll pray for your safety. What, is, what do you say? Let us pray for the brave warrior. Usually you hear that sound when the game saves. Oh, I guess that is a heal. What about the, I thought the other guy healed you. He just does it for looks. Oh well. Uh, so definitely these are some big tips on how to continue on. Because uh, I'm pretty sure you can't go anywhere. Like if you go further right. Oh, okay. They, they didn't hide any, like, super secrets over here. Oh, but you can keep going. Oh, look at that. Hi there. Ah, Bundo, I knew of this. I knew that a descendant of Lotto would arrive one day. Inside this chest is the Sunstone, which Lotto left in my care years ago. It's very, it's vital for your quest to defeat the Dragon Lord. Go on, open the chest. Oh, well, good thing I grabbed this. I'm gonna need that. But no, you, you will return light to this land. I have faith in you. I've kept watch over the sunstone for so long now. I must say, I'm somewhat tired. I believe I've earned some rest. And he walks into this room where he is sleepy. He's very sleepy. I can still see him clearly now. I see a likeness in you, Bindo. Go and restore peace to the land. Uh, I will discard the torch. I don't think I need a torch anymore. I don't need a herb, but the life acorn is a, a real nice thing to just eat. I should really sort out this inventory. I should really sort out this inventory. There's probably some extra, like, health goodies all around as well that I've been missing, but... Uh, so yes, yeah, so if you walk off, then, yeah, you've actually walked off, but... 
So I've got the Sunstone, the Lotto Seal, the Lotto Armor. We're nearly at the end of the game, but a couple more things to do. And then, uh, of course, the challenge. The trial of actually fighting two more bosses. Will you save your game? Yes, I will. Anyway, oh, well, actually, I, I would like to leave, thank you very much. I shall rest. There we go. We shall return. Uh, but until then, thank you so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, if you stuck around, uh, if my internet was okay during the stream, uh, please, you can follow on Twitch or subscribe on YouTube. The same deal. Uh, there's a bit of Dragon Quest just for this week and next week. Probably next week. I think it will be all done afterwards. Um, and uh, yeah, if after that, if you, if you enjoy just any kind of older-ish game, that's what I play. I play lots of older games. But yeah, no. Um, if you didn't like it, then you could still subscribe. You don't have to. You don't have to, as in, you have to subscribe. You don't have to enjoy it. You have to subscribe. That's the, uh, the key thing. Um, but other than that, yeah, like, if you've got any opinions on Pokemon Scarlet or Violet or um, the Game Awards, or you want to tell me that all my predictions were wrong, I didn't even predict anything. Uh, quick, I have to predict who wins. Um, I bet Elden Ring is going to win Game of the Year. I bet God of War is going to win, like, about three categories. Um, I think for, for best uh, RPG, it's going to go to Xenoblade 3. Uh, I think best family game is going to go to Mario and Rabbids. I'll hold my thoughts on that one. If it goes to Kirby, ugh. And uh, if... What's, what's a big one? Indie game's probably going to go to Tunic. I'll go with that one. Those are my guesses. All right, have a good one, everyone. Stay safe. Uh, eat your greens. Don't let the wind catch you out uh, over here. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, have a good one, everyone. Good night.